One Sacramento endurance athlete recently made history for the entire Hmong community becoming the first Ultraman. KCRA 3's Michelle Dapper has more with this week's My 58 superstar, Peng Lore. I would never ever do that. Three sports in one. But never say never. But here I am. I'm like one of the craziest guys right now. Peng Lore isn't crazy. He's an Ultraman, a real life super athlete. You gotta love it, training just like study. If you can't study, you can't pass the test. So training, you gotta train hard to pass the test. And Pang's addicted to extreme tests. After uh, one swim, I signed up for Santa Cruz uh, Half Ironman, and from there on, just changed my life. A bus driver by day for the Twin Rivers Unified School District. I will get up from work, come here, do my part, uh, half marathon run, which is 13.2 miles, and then go home, go out and eat, then go back to work. And after that, uh, get off around 4.30, come back here and then meet the guy with the bike. Carving out time to compete, Pang continues to raise the bar. Three, four Ironmans, uh, Wisconsin, Boulder, Arizona, on uh, six half Ironmans, two Santa Rosa, one Santa Cruz, Oregon, Oceanside and Utah, which is one of the hardest half Ironman. Next will be uh, Hawaii uh, in June. But his biggest test came two weeks ago. It's one of the biggest uh, challenger of all because it's ultra distance. The Ultraman Florida, a three day endurance race covering more than 321 miles. Uh, the biggest challenge for me is uh, the swim part because all rough, choppy water, wind, current, the cold, because I think it was 47 degree. A 6.2 mile open water swim, followed by a 261.4 mile bike ride and finishing with a 52.4 mile run. All I could think was one step at a time, one step at a time, but you gotta keep going, keep pushing. And not only did Peng complete his first Ultraman, he made history as well. If an Asian small guy like me could do it, then we all could do it. And I'm proud that I opened the door to let other Hmong community know that, yes, there is Ultraman. Backed by the Hmong community, Peng knows many people are in his corner, including the Never Stop Riding Bike Club. They're the one that comes together with me, ride to uh, Sunrise and back, Hazel and back. Those are my daily training. That daily training will ride on as Peng recently qualified for his greatest race of all, the Ultraman World Championships on the big island of Hawaii. And they say that, congratulations, your confirmation. I was so happy, you know, I was dancing around my bedroom. In Sacramento, Michelle Dapper, KCRA 3 News. Well, Peng finished in 25th place in Florida, and the Ultraman Hawaii is set to begin November 25th and continues through Thanksgiving weekend. We wish him the best. Yes, very impressive. Well, mm. if you have an athlete, coach, or team that you would like to nominate as a My 58 Superstar of the Week, you can email us at superstars at kcra.com.